Hey guys, it's Mark Gallagher here. I fixed the mess that was my old hair colour and now I'm back with a bit of a cold and a bad voice, so do forgive me, I'm not feeling too well. But one thing I am feeling really well about is that I've got a new ukulele and I'm looking forward to talking about it. But first I want to talk about a guy called Barry Maz. Barry Maz is not just an important figure in the ukulele world, but also in my own musical development, especially as it pertains to ukuleles. I started learning ukulele in 2011 when I was just 14 years old. I'd already learned how to play guitar, piano and bass in the years prior. I used to go to a school ukulele group at Monday lunchtimes and there were about four people there. And one of them suggested uh, that there was a jam in a pub just a few hundred metres down the road from me, uh, from the, where the school was, uh, there was a jam of ukuleles with, hosted by Barry Maz and his band at the time, the Nantwich Ukes. So I used to go to these on regular Sundays with my school's youth group and I got involved with that whole crowd and Barry Maz had a lot of connections in the ukulele world uh, which ended up leading my career to progress you know, to where I am now as I'm starting to play festivals internationally. I just wanted to mention first, he's quite an important figure to me. For those who don't know who Barry Mads is, he runs GotUkulele.com. Uh, GotUkulele.com is a U blog for beginners. As of late, it's uh, become renowned for its ukulele reviews. He takes reviews of brands from all over the world of various uh, price ranges and quality levels, um, from the biggest names to some local luthier built products. Uh, and he's famous for his unbiased reviews, where he can be really relentless sometimes. Barry Maz put up a ukulele up for sale, and he lives in the same town as where I, I grew up in, Nantwich in Cheshire. I was staying in Nantwich at the time, I said, oh, I'll just pop round have a look at the ukulele, and I was instantly enamoured by it. As much as I love my Pono 10 ukulele, I needed some form of backup, because as it currently pertains, uh, when I, if this packs in, or has an issue, or is away for repair, I go back to my piece of crap ukulele, which you can watch in this video. But I want some sort of backup that wasn't too much of a step down. I want something that was of, of equal quality or of equal um, tombral niceness to my Pono. So that was the kind of thing I was looking for. Not a backup ukulele, but a secondary main one. So onto this uke. It's a Koaloa tenor ukulele. Uh, Koaloa is a respected, uh, one of the, the notable K brands in Hawaii, alongside Kamaka, Kanalea, and more. And believe uh, Barry got this originally from Southern Ukulele Store down in Bournemouth, which I'm yet to visit, but I really, really want to go. Um, and I believe he chose the, the grain of this wood as well. Uh, it's all solid colour in the top and back and sides, and it is just beautiful. As for the sound, I just started playing it, and I was like, oh my god, I need this ukulele in my life. One thing I really love about this ukulele is how it plays, especially on strums. It's got such a snap to it, which I really love, especially on the muted strums. It's very... It does, it's just got so much sustain, such resonance, especially on the on the back, I can just kind of feel it coming in my chest, it's beautiful. It has the same kind of snap that my Pono tenor has, but I feel like my Pono doesn't have the same body to it. Also the Koalo is much louder. Comparing the two ukes, the neck and fingerboard on the Colo is just a little bit longer, which I don't mind, it gives me a bit more of a stretch, but I also like the nuts a little bit wider, just by a touch, which gives my hand a bit more space to fit in. The bodies are kind of similar, but um, you've got a bit of a wider bottom end for the, the Pono. Also, the Colo just feels fantastic, it's light as anything, it's a bit thinner than the, the, the Pono, and it's beautiful. Finger picked, it sounds gorgeous. The only thing I really need to do with this ukulele now is just put a pickup inside, uh, just so I can start taking this on stage. I adore this, and I think a nice side would go super well in this. And yeah, I'm looking forward to starting using this more in videos. 
Uh, if you want to hear more about my other ukuleles or you want to see the songs I do, then like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that lovely stuff. Um, just jump on board. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Cheers.